Hey everybody, it's Charles, your hobby hero, and today we're going to be answering the age-old question of CGC or CBCS for your comic book grading. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button down at the bottom corner. I do appreciate it. I do weekly content in regards to the hobbies that I love the most. Today we're going to be looking at these two comic book grading companies. Now there are other comic book grading companies uh, that do great comics and if you are looking for a company just to slab your comics pretty much any of them will work as long as you trust them not to mishandle your book while they're there but as far as comic book grading companies that people actually value the input on the grade there's really only two uh, right now arguably a third in a pinch uh, so we're just going to be looking at those main two companies today. Now you've probably seen a number of videos like these videos and I will tell you straight up front, I will always try to direct you to what makes the best choice, present you with all the options, all the information that I've collected and gathered so that you can make the best options for yourself. At the end of the day, these are your comics, your collectibles, and your decision to make the decision that is right for you. But there's a lot of misinformation out there. Uh, there's a lot of vague information out there. And hopefully this video can help guide you to make the best decision for you and the way you collect and the way you want to preserve or flip your hobby. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is the individual memberships uh, for each of these companies. Uh, now we'll start with CGC. Now CGC has recently changed their membership as of, I think April. Um, they had switched some stuff up. So if you are a member pre-April, uh, your membership could be different from what you are seeing now. They do have a free membership that gives you access to their online resources and uh, to submitting at certain levels on their page. Um, now this particular membership will give you access to like their census uh, registry for the books and stuff along those lines. They have an associate level now at $25 uh, that gives you 10% uh, off the CGC store if you're purchasing stuff from their direct store. It gives you a $15 CGC shipping kit voucher which basically sends you stuff to pack and get your books ready to submit off to them. Uh, full submission privileges uh, and free grading notes for your comic book submission. So keep that in mind because it is a little different from CBCS, but when it comes to CGC, their grader notes are only there on your submission. So you, if you purchase a book that somebody else has graded, you will actually have to pay for those grading notes, which we'll get to um, and, and a, a later tier here. Then you have your premium tier, uh, very similar to your associate tier. Uh, biggest difference is that you get a $150 credit with CGC for grading. Um, so if you're making a submission, you'll basically get the money back from the membership um, in grading fees. As long as you're going to submit more than $150 in books, this is kind of where I would start. Unless you're really just not planning on submitting very many books at all, premium is kind of the go-to spot that I would start at. Uh, because you're basically going to get your monies back out of that plus get all the benefits. You're going to get your shipping kit voucher. You're going to get 10% off the store. Your free uh, submit or uh, sorry free graders notes, uh, all the resources, all the submission privileges, etc. Basically for free. Uh, and then the next one or the last one now is going to be your elite membership. Uh, same as your premium membership, same credit. The big difference here is you're going to get a 10% discount on all those grading tiers. Um, so if you're submitting a large volume of books like myself, that is going to pay for itself over. You're paying $140 basically for this membership uh, because you're going to get that $150 credit back. And with that $140, um, you've got a 10% discount on all future submissions. So do the math as long as you're submitting over that threshold you'll be in the green on that particular membership so if you're submitting any kind of volume premium um, if you're submitting a large number of volume elite is probably the only two tiers unless you're just going to send like one book off that you really wanted to get graded um, and then you're probably just looking at the free one not really sure that the associate's going to make much sense um, for anybody out there uh, unless you really just have no packing supplies whatsoever um, and you're going to be purchasing that stuff through CGC. But, like I said, that's not going to be a situation for very many people. Uh, the CBCS 
Um, membership page is a little bit more <laughs> complicated, um, not quite as cut and dry. Um, for somebody who is doing a lot with uh, these kind of submissions, do, uh, very familiar with kind of these grading companies, it's not too bad, but it's for somebody just coming in off the street, looking at their their membership level here, there's it's really got a lot of information that's not gonna make a whole lot of sense uh, to individuals. I, I would recommend CBCS really kind of streamline this. I know CGC had streamlined theirs, um, so it, it may be coming down the line. Uh, CBCS does have a free level as well. Um, you can see the grading costs and everything on that screen, which is very nice. Uh, their bronze level at $100 um, is going to get you um, a discount on all your grading. Um, the discount fluctuates a little bit, but it's right around 10% um, of a discount for those tiers. It also is going to come with two two-day moderns that you can see up there. That means that you are going to get two free submissions into the two-day modern category with the discounted price of $36 in that membership tier. That's about a $72 value. Um, and you're gonna get three fast passes, um, which will have the time of your turnaround time, which is about a $27 value. So for $100, you get about $99 in value on there, plus a discount on all your submissions. So very good tier there. Uh, the silver tier membership is a $150 membership that is going to give you uh, two up to rapid um, which is another level of their uh, service, um, which if you do both submissions at that rapid tier is about $162 in value. So for 150 bucks, you can submit two books at that rapid tier and you'd actually save yourself $12 in addition to the discount uh, that you get on there. And then your gold membership is $500 um, and you've got the two for one uh, on one day uh, turnaround time. So um, I don't know if there's a limit uh, to this. Um, so take it as as it is. I would assume it, it is an unlimited amount that if you are submitting one day uh, turnaround books, which is kind of hard to price what that exact turnaround would be because it's based on fair market value on those submissions. It's a minimum of $130 um, for that, that grade tier. So basically if you submit one book at that level at $130, you could get a second book um, also submitted at that $130. And by the way it's worded, I would assume that any time that you do that, you could get that discount. So if you are in the, the habit of just really turning stuff around at a very high rate, um, some bigger books, you know that tier level may make sense to you. Uh, but similarly to the CGC, I think you're, uh, in this situation, you're really down to the two bronze or silver tier, depending on um, what your submissions. Bronze really is kind of the catch-all for me, um, because most of the books I'll be submitting are going to be modern era books. Um, I do usually have enough patience to wait for those books to come back in the regular turnaround time. So having the, the two more rapids really doesn't offer a whole lot for me. Um, and the discount on the books is exactly the same um, as far as the tier levels for all the submissions. Again, if you're not gonna be submitting a ton of books with them, just a one-off here or there, uh, then you're fine to go with the, th the free membership. Uh, obviously, very few books would needed to be required before the bronze would make sense though uh, for that submission. All right, next we're gonna be looking at kind of how these service levels compare to one another, both on cost, and turnaround time, value limits, and all that kind of stuff. Now, these don't directly line up. Um, a lot of them are pretty close, so we'll kind of go over those, and then we'll kind of break down individual tiers afterwards. This is probably the most misrepresented information that I hear out there. Part of that is just based on the consumer's uh, perception. And part of it, you know, you kind of have to put on CBCS in this particular instance because they have two separate advertised turnaround times. Um, if you go to their main pricing page, it has their uh, tiers listed with a turnaround time 
that is, I guess, their general uh, rule of thumb kind of turnaround time for that service level. You actually have to click on a separate link up at the top for their current turnaround times, which are pretty different uh, compared to, to those. So the, the industry perception right now is that CBCS's turnaround times are much quicker. Uh, but as we break these down into the service levels that are most similar, you're going to realize that they're really much closer than a lot of people realize. So the first one is going to be looking at their modern tier versus the modern tier. Now these are books after 1975. Um, so the majority of the books that you're going to find out there right now, at least for most collectors, are going to fall into this tier. Um, and they're uh, the kind of the base level tier that you go into. So CGC's modern price is $22 per book and these prices are without any of the discounts because that's going to vary depending on what level membership that you get into so just know that these are going to be prices without discounts um, it is $22 for a 94 day turnaround and a $15 fast track fee up to a $400 value limit so what does that mean that value limit means a book valued up to $400 would fall into this tier of grading before having to be bumped up into the next tier CBCS in contrast is $18 per book so a $4 difference there um, for a 98 day turnaround so it's actually a longer turnaround period right now for modern books than CGC is um, with a $10 fast track and a $250 value limit. So a book that is gonna be valued after graded more than $250 would actually not fit into their modern criteria, which is pretty substantial um, as that does not leave a whole lot of window there. It's basically just kind of gonna be your, your low end slabs that you're gonna be able to fit into that modern tier uh, with CBCS before having to bump it up into their consumer tier, which we'll get into here shortly. Um, now, pre-1975, uh, so you're, you're older than Bronze Age books, you're going to be looking at $33 for a CGC uh, grading of 131 days, again, $15 fast track, and a $400 value limit. CBCS is going to be $30 for a 126 day turnaround. Again, very close to the CGC turnaround. $10 fast track and only a $250 value limit again on that one. So again, very comparable in cost, very comparable in turnaround time. Uh, fast track, probably the biggest difference on is for them right now and those two tiers are gonna be the fast track. Um, obviously at $15, uh, CGC right now, their fast track is subtracting about 20 days from their overall turnaround time, where CBCS is still advertising that their fast track will have the waiting time uh, of those books. So if you're looking at the pre-1975 books, for example, at 126 days, a $10 fast track will drop that all the way down to 63 days um, in that thing. So their fast track is very impactful right now if they're, they're holding true to that still being that 50% reduction in turnaround time. Now this is where CBCS kind of, I think has their weakest spot is that $250 to $400 value range. They have a separate tier for that called their consumer tier. It's $34 a book. So now you're above CGC pricing um, for either modern or pre-1975 books. It's at $125. Our, sorry, 112 day turnaround time. Still has the fast track option at $12, but we'll hit those books from $250 to $400 uh, price range. So at, at this point, you know, that consumer consumer spot doesn't really have a home at all, in my opinion. Um, at, at that point, I think most people would just opt to pay a lower amount um, for basically an equivalent turnaround time to have the CGC slab. Um, other than just preference for having all their books in a certain type of slab. But that consumer spot, I really think that CBCS could benefit from con combining that to their pre-1975 and their modern books uh, tier, and then maybe just adjusting the price point in those two tiers. Um, the next tiers, from there on, they, there's not really any direct comparison, so they're going to be separated, and I've kind of put them in the tiers that they fall as far as value limit. Um, after the consumer tier for CBCS, you have your CGC standard tier, uh, which is a $75 uh, submission fee for a 74 day turnaround time. There's no fast track option for that tier, but that will get books up to $1,000 in value limit. 
Um, so it's a pretty big price jump if you have a book between that $400 and $1,000 price limit. Uh, and honestly, for not much shorter turnaround time. So you're talking about uh, if you have a modern book, it's going from $22 submission up to a $75 submission, but only subtracting about 20 days off of your turnaround time. So again, CGC Standard is a really tough spot uh, to be in if you find yourself with a book in that exact value range. Uh, from there, we go to our CBCS Two Day Mo Modern. Um, this is a problem I have kind of with CBCS as well as the names of some of their tiers are very misleading. If you hear Two Day Modern, uh, I would assume most people would assume that that's a two day turnaround. Um, and I don't think I would be crazy to think that. Uh, but with CBCS Two Day Modern, it's a $40 uh, purchase for a seven day turnaround time currently with a $10 fast track option still up to $2,000 value limit. Now, I think that this is probably the premier product that CBCS has to offer. Um, it is the right amount of price for expediency. So if you have found yourself in the business of turning modern books, as we all know, this industry can be very highly speculative. So having that option at a $40 price mark to get something back so quickly, I think is a very high value ratio for those of us who may be trying to flip some modern books before the heat behind those keys or covers cools off. So very excellent product. The only issue I have with it, again, is kind of the name of the product. Uh, again, I hear two-day modern. I assume two-day turnaround. Uh, but again, right now, it is up to a seven-day turnaround on that. Uh, from there, you have your CGC Express. Uh, this is a $120 submission on the Express for a 15-day turnaround up to a $3,000 value limit. Um, so I know we've talked about CGC Express before. This is kind of that first level at CGC where they'll ask you to mark the outside of the box to help expedite the registration of the product and get that back to you. So if you have some big labeled keys uh, that you really want to get that turnaround done quickly, then you can use this Express option, again, 15 days back, up to a $3,000 value limit. Uh, the kind of similar equivalent to this, um, you know, you have two levels for CBCS that kind of come in in that same striking range. You have the CBCS Quick Stream, uh, which is $58 uh, for the submission for a 28-day turnaround time up to an $1,150 value limit. Uh, kind of an odd value limit. I'm not exactly sure where that, that derives from. So this is, again, this is one of those products that it's really kind of hard to find the exact time you'd ever really want to use this. Uh, now, obviously, on the two-day modern, it's only modern era books. So, you know, any time uh, 1975 and after, I think you would always just defer to the two-day modern. It's quicker turnaround time for a lower cost. If it is pre-1975, uh, honestly, for a 28-day turnaround time um, and no fast pass option, I think you'd be more likely to go with the CBCS Rapid, which is what we're going to look at next. It's $90 for the submission, but your turnaround time is all the way down to seven days, uh, up to a $4,000 value limit on that book. Um, so if, if you were in a hurry uh, to get that book, I think you're probably gonna spring for the extra uh, submission fee at that point, so you can shave off basically two, 21 extra days off the time there. Um, so again, Quick Streams, another one where I think CBCS has some opportunity to look at that and see if it really makes sense to have a whole separate category for that or if it just makes sense to kind of price it into some of the surrounding tiers. Now, now take us to our final two tiers, uh, which is gonna be uh, the walkthrough uh, tiers or the CBCS one day. So CGC walkthrough is 3% of fair market value with a current turnaround time of three days. Um, the minimum fair market value has to be at least $150. Um, so basically your big books that you want back right away, or you can spend 150 bucks basically to get any book that you wanted back right back around uh, in that three day time span. Uh, very good option if you're say you're in a hurry or it's just a really big book that you don't want out uh, and about without looking for it. And then again, another product that the name is you know, not very apt is a CBCS one day. Uh, current turnaround time for that is actually at seven days. Um, and again, similar to the CGC walkthrough is based on fair market value of 2.75% uh, with a minimum of $130. Uh, 
uh, for those particular values. So as you can see, uh, the the consensus, if you were to ask most people right now, you know, how which service is going to get your books back faster, I think 90% of the market's going to tell you that CBCS is going to have your books back much faster. But if you can look at this, honestly, apples to apples comparisons on the ones that line up the closest, CGC has either the quicker turnaround time or very comparable turnaround times for the prices. So that is one thing that I think a lot of people are pushing misinformation on. Uh, so I wanted to mention too, as far as overall services, they're pretty comparable on overall services. I will say this, that CBCS does offer s signature authentication. So if you have a book um, and you are getting it graded, if you want the signature to be recognized by CGC as authentic, they actually have to have a CGC representative witness the signature. Uh, certificates of authenticity mean absolutely nothing in this industry except to maybe somebody you're selling to uh, as an individual. Uh, but as far as the grading companies go, they, they mean absolutely nothing. Uh, so if you want it to have that, that coveted gold label from CGC, they actually have to witness the signature happening. They do hold lots of events. They do go to lots of conventions to make sure that that's possible. But if you have a book that has already been signed or if you are going to go see an artist that is not going to be present with a CGC uh, signer, then the, really your only other option to have it authenticated is to send it to CBCS for that signature authentic authentication. They will authenticate it, give it their uh, authenticated label, and then have that book graded. Uh, a big misconception that I hear a lot right now too is the resell. Now there was definitely a period in uh, time where CGC ran supreme on the resell side. Uh, individuals that were out there, you know, were claiming it. But if you go and look at recent listings on just about any book now with some, enough sales data to support it, the comps are very close to being even. In some instances, the CBCS ones are even outperforming the CGC ones. So, you know, that's one of those things where, yes, over time, people have started moving more books over to CBCS, as we can see by the wait times being increased and those people are just expecting the same amount of return on those books when they put them up for sale and if they're selling them for that part and people are buying them for that part that's really where that that equation is going to be coming out as a whole any of the data i was looking for to really try to establish um, one was selling for substantially more than the la last the very if i'd go to the next example there would be indicators for cbcs outperforming cgc and then I'd go to the next book, CGC was sort of outperforming CBCS, and it was kind of back and forth. So again, I think the general consensus is most people would tell you that CGC is you know, far and away outperforming consistently on CBCS, but the reality is at this point in time, that's just not the case. People want these books graded, um, they trust the grading from CBCS, and therefore are willing to pay just as much for a CBCS book as they are for the CGC equivalents as far as grades go. And then last but not least is the grading. Um, you know, how much does the industry trust the grading? Now, CGC has kind of been under fire here recently. They've hired a bunch of new graders. People are grading at an alarmingly high rate, which is causing some stuff to get missed, some stuff for people to, to disagree with. Um, as CBCS is starting to pick up, people are starting to notice some discrepancies in their grading process as well. Um, I will tell you this, grading is always going to be subjective. There is always going to be a 9.8 book out there that if it was resubmitted, it might come back at 9.6. There's always going to be that 9.6 book. If it was resubmitted, it could come back at a 9.8. So there's always going to be some subjectivity in the grades. Now, there's also going to be an element of just human error. Um, there is going to be, you know, a person who has been grading books for eight hours straight that day. They're going to take a look at a particular book. They're going to miss a particular spine tick. They're going to miss a particular color break. They're going to miss some aspect of it that would cause that book to grade high, higher or grade lower. And that book is going to have a higher grade than it really needs to have. This is going to happen anywhere that human grading is used. And, but the general consensus is grading from both companies is trusted. Um, you know, a 9.8 for CGC sells consistently at 9.8 prices. A 9.8 for CBCS grades consistently at 9.8 prices. And that's pretty true throughout the spectrum. There's not really any spot where consistently I see price deviations. Um, you know, it's not like on the grading card side, for example, 
people kind of start trusting certain grading scales more towards the top end and less towards the bottom end. You don't really see that with these two companies. Um, a 1.8 at CGC is pretty well respected as a 1.8 and vice versa at a CBCS. If they have those low grade books, those grades are pretty consistent with it. So I think it's fair to say that CBCS has legitimized their presence in the comment grading community. Now I will say that that has come with the fact that they have not only caught up on like the price points, but they've also caught up on the turnaround times to CGC as well. That has meant that they've also caught up on that resale. So there's been kind of a give and take throughout the spectrum here. Now I will say this CGC is still recognized as the industry standard. So if you are selling a higher volume book, you may be able to pull the same premium in for it, but it may sit a little bit longer just because some people aren't going to be as familiar with CBCS as they are with CGC. Now I do think there are enough people out there that are, and I've already established that I do think that the resale is there. So the biggest turning point for me would be on that, that turnaround side. Is it important to me that the day that I get it, I can sell it for what the market price is at that particular point in time? And if that's the case, CGC may be the correct answer. If that's not so much the case, then looking at where my book falls on turnaround times for each company, where my book falls on pricing for each company. I think, again, out of all the pricing listed here, the CBCS Two Day Modern is one of the greatest single product uh, tiers out of all the categories here. So if that particular tier fits inside your needs, I highly recommend that particular one. But aside from that, I think I think for me, especially doing the extra research in here into turnaround times and so forth, that they're really pretty comparable across the board. Um, if there is a small bump uh, for CGC, it would be that, that industry recognition. Um, and if there's that small bump for CBCS, again, is that they are they're trending very hard right now to, to really catching up to being that solid 1 and 1A one option for collectors out here. The good news is that means there are two really good options out there for people who are looking to have their comics graded. Uh, if you disagree or you have any comments or questions, make sure you let me know in the comments section below. Till next time, though, Hobby Hero, out.